mother gets her child back, but the medical treatment he needs, his family can't afford. That was in May. Tonight, Jennifer Ryan shows you how the same little boy is taking tremendous steps to recovery right here in Washington. Stand up tall. Small steps, small steps. Through the eyes of a child, it's hard to understand why a leg that looks so real doesn't magically work like one. 11 year old Hamid El Nirab lost his leg during an attack in May near his refugee camp in the Gaza Strip. It happened while he was uh, going home from school and it was in a crowd of, of, of people. Suddenly a tank shell exploded um, nearby where he was and uh, it hit both of his legs. And he flew in the air and two of his friends, schoolmates died. He thinks a lot about them and he is angry. Halfway around the world at the National Rehabilitation Hospital here in Washington, some of that anger is being replaced. Right. Hamad's dream of playing soccer is becoming a possibility. We uh, referred the case here to the U.S. and we're fortunate enough to have, you know, people like NASCOT willing to donate it. And uh, it, that's, that's really why Hamad was able to be brought here is because we were able to find people here that were generous enough to, to help him. Yes, okay. Prosthetist David Fenton donated all, right. all of his time. The biggest challenge with him? Just slowing him down. He's so excited and so motivated. He wants to go, go, go. You can see it on his face. You can see it in his eyes. He's so happy. Haya Namari, who is Hamid's host mother in McLean, says he is a different child than he was just two weeks ago. But life in Gaza quickly swipes innocence with reality. He said, I can't play now. He's strong. He's motivated. He will play soccer. That's my prediction. And a few days ago, while at a DC United game, he also received a vote of confidence from every team member. He told me he wanted to jump in. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's important for me to be able to play soccer again. And while a signed soccer ball will be quite a prize to bring home to his 17 brothers and sisters, the real gift will be delivering it unassisted. He loves those Americans who gave him the leg. And they gave me all this for free and you know, this, I love them. A humanitarian group called the Palestine Children's Relief Organization finds these children and puts out the call for help. And this time, NASCOT Rehabilitation Services here in D.C. decided that they would answer that call. There are, however, hundreds of kids just like Hamad who need this specialized care. They're just waiting for the call. That is a heartrending story. Now, when does he go home? Sunday. He heads on back, and uh, he cannot wait to see his family, his mother, his father, and his 17 brothers and sisters. I wish him the best. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm.